Hi, my name is Sami Ahunemi and I'm the CEO of SSH Communication Security in the U.S. I will talk about encrypted channel monitoring as well as uh, privilege access management. Secure Shell is a very useful tool um, for administrators to log in to remote servers and do administrative tasks, run commands, and, and so forth, as well as to transfer uh, files uh, through secure files transfer in a, in, in a, in a very secure uh, manner through encrypted channels. As well as then, uh, the Secure Shell is very capable of uh, channeling through, essentially, as a lightweight VPN, uh, other protocols, other applications, uh, you know, within the en encrypted channel. With with that, it, it actually does also, you know, come what come with certain challenges, especially related to the fact that since it's an encrypted channel, uh, you cannot really know what's going on within the pipe unless you have access to the to the endpoints of that pipe, which is very often not the case. So, if you do want to be monitoring that kind of these kind of encrypted channels, you do need to have an inline appliance that is able to actually act as a friendly man in the middle, essentially seeing inside of those pipes, uh, seeing what's going on, what's allowed and what's not allowed. Uh, for example, uh, if you have um, consultants administrating certain applications on your servers, uh, when those consultants uh, come and log in through secure cell channel, uh, you essentially want to be checking Active Directory, for example, what kind of authorizations, uh, authorization groups um, these uh, administrators belong to uh, and, and what kind of, uh, you know, general uh, authorizations they have. But you need to apply those groups, those rules, uh, to, to in a more granular manner so that when they do log in and you allow and let them go all the way through to the servers that they're administrating and the applications that they need to be touching, uh, you can be running rule sets that essentially deny them, for example, running pseudo comments or, or in general gaining uh, root level access, but instead they're only able to operate within the authorization, within the applications that they should be touching. Also, when you do the, do the channel monitoring, uh, you can certainly apply a lot of the rule sets uh, within the device, if the device is capable of doing that. But also, in very many cases, you have extensive DLP IPS in place and, and basically have uh, extensive rule sets there, centralized, centrally managed, centrally created. So you can also be referring the traffic uh, to, for example, a DLP that will then signal back saying this traffic uh, this access, uh, you know, uh, this tunnel is essentially allowed, and once you get that back, you are able to basically let the traffic flow through. Also, in order to refer back to the things that may have happened, uh, let's say there's a malicious insider uh, pulling data from your network, um, the monitoring should also store those sessions uh, uh, in, into, a, into an index storage so that you can later on go in uh, and search for, for things uh, and basically discover what went wrong, uh, what happened within those encrypted channels so that uh, you can, uh, you can uh, basically ensure that those, those things, those, those mishaps don't happen again going forward. Uh, with that said, when you're, when you're building these kind of architectures, uh, you also need to pay attention to scalability of the things. Uh, what that means is that you need to be able to deploy several devices in the important uh, intersections within your network in order to capture all the traffic. Uh, all of that should be somehow centrally managed so that you don't need to log into each of these devices you know, to create rule sets um, to administrate in general, but all of that should be centrally managed for easier, more scalable way of running things in, uh, in extensive networks. Uh, with that said, uh, us at SSH, we've created a product called Crypto Auditor that essentially allows uh, an enterprise to do exactly what we described here. So to uh, apply very granular uh, privileged access authorizations, as well as monitor um, the encrypted channels, the encrypted subchannels, as well as then run forensics on the data on the on those terminal sessions, on those data transfers that that happen. Uh, with that, thank you for listening. Um, goodbye.